God bless you. So glad you could join us here at All Nations House of Prayer for our great Bible study tonight. Listen, God has been awesome to us, and especially here at All Nations House of Prayer. The presence of the Lord has been meeting us every service, and we are so grateful and so honored unto God for what God is doing. Listen, people of God, it is a time that we must seek God and seek the face of God like never before. Call upon his name and believe that God will have everything in control. The Lord loves us like that. He loves us so much that he promised that he would be a shield that he would cover us, that he would protect us. And by the blood of Jesus Christ, I believe that God is going to do just that, that he promised. He promised that he would never leave us nor forsake us. Praise God, but he would always be with us. And I believe that God is not a man that he should lie, people of God, not a son of man that he shall repent. Everything that God says, he has the ability to bring it to pass. Praise the Lord, because now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So I pray tonight that you're in good health. I pray tonight that God has speak is speaking to you and that God is lifting up your head, lifting up your spirit, and that you are encouraged to walk with God in this day and this hour. It's going to be very important this season, this time, that we walk with God and that we give God our whole hearts and that we seek the face of God like never before. I come to tell you now we are definitely in the last days and we have to make sure that we know God and that God knows us. Praise the Lord. Listen, we've been talking and we've been in the series of obedience and we're not going to vary from that tonight. We're going to come right back, deal with uh, the spirit of obedience because it's going to be very important that we obey God like never before. It's going to be our obedience in God that's going to bring us through this season. And praise God, this year has a lot of challenges uh, that we're going to face in this year. Praise God. And the only way that we're going to make it through, we must obey the word of God. And I mean obey the word of God to the very letter. Praise the Lord. The enemy is like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. And I'm telling you, death is walking like a man on the earth. And we've got to, as people and as intercessors, as men and women of God, we've got to keep our face toward God and keep our prayer wheel turning and talking to God. The Bible says that the prayers of the righteous availeth much. Praise the Lord. And I believe that God would honor the prayers of the righteous. Listen, we're going to go into the word of the Lord. We're going to have a word of prayer. Uh, right now before we go in and father in the name of Jesus we thank you and we praise you for your love and your kindness your tender mercy we thank you for who you are the Lord the savior uh, the redeemer the counselor of all mankind you are the savior of the soul of man all souls belong to you today father in the name of Jesus I pray that you would extend that great hand of mercy and that you would begin to draw men unto you, Father. None shall come except you draw them unto you. Father, begin to draw them, begin to move and pull them out of the mock and the mire, the darkness of the wicked world and the wickedness that Satan has. Father, pull them out now, save them, deliver them, show them that you are the way, the truth, and the light. I pray, Father, that you would allow us to enter your word tonight with your anointing, with your revelation, with your knowledge and wisdom, Father, that the people of God may have an understanding. I pray that they would hear you tonight and in hearing you father that you would bring great deliverance that you would encourage them that you would uplift them and you would give them what they need in you i pray that prayer tonight father in jesus name amen and amen god bless you listen we're going to go to joshua uh the first chapter looking at the seventh verse as we deal with uh the spirit of obedience uh, like I said, it's very, very important uh, as we look at Isaiah 1 and 19, the Bible says that if we be willing to obey, we could eat uh, the good of the land. 
Praise the Lord. We could eat the good of the land. But here's the thing. We've got to be willing to obey. That means it's up to us to say to God, whatever you say, whatever your words say, I say yes to it. And we sing a song around here. We say yes to the Lord. That means we surrender our all to God. And that way we understand once we, we surrender our all to God, we leave it up to God then to protect us and lead us and guide us and direct us. As David was says, teach us thy way, O Lord, and lead us in a plain path because of the enemy. And I come to tell you, people of God, the enemy is after you like never before. He wants to destroy as many many that he can that he can throw it up in God's face that his men those that he created would not serve him but I want to serve warning on the devil he is a liar today he is the father of liars and God has people that are willing to serve him praise the Lord as we look at it the word obedience it's the carrying out of the word and the the word and the will of of another person especially the will of God as we look at it now obedience means to carry out the word and uh, of another person we are as people of God we are designed to carry out the word of God we are to obey him to follow his lead to follow his instructions and to follow his word because his word does not go out void people of God it accomplished it is the word of God that is the map to our lives in the way that we should go if we follow the word of God we're going to have prosperity we're going to have eternal life praise the Lord we're going to have health and we're going to be saved and delivered from the wickedness of the enemy it's all in the act of obedience and like I said in the in both the new and the old testament the word obey relates to the idea of hearing the idea of hearing in other words the bible declared let those that have an ear let them hear what the spirit will say unto the church so as we hear what god is saying to us then it's up to us to react and obey on what we're hearing praise god and as we hear the word of god we act on that word that's why I always tell people let's say something you need to respond to what you hear from God amen yes everything is amen praise the Lord we believe God glory to God because you're not amen in me you're not amen in the preacher but you are saying I agree with what God is saying praise the Lord everybody when you talking to someone praise God you want their reaction you want to know how they're going to respond Respond because they respond to you let you know if they like it or dislike it but when you sit like a mummy praise the Lord and you don't say nothing nobody knows so we don't know if you're agreeing or disagreeing praise the Lord because you're just sitting when you hear something good and the word of God is good to the soul it is food to the soul and even sometimes when people are just eating naturally sometimes you can hear them humming because the food is so good or they say oh this is delicious they will respond who made this oh my god who did this uh uh, uh who made how where's the recipe to this dish it is so good and that's the way it is to lord because the scripture says oh taste and see that the lord is good and when that word is good to you in your soul realm you must respond Respond to what he's saying. Praise the Lord. So if the idea of, of obedience is related to the idea of hearing. Obedience is a positive, active response to what a person hears. It's an active response to what a person hears is saying praise the lord or or what they or you, what you hear god summons people active obedience to his revelation people fail to obey god it results in judgment in the old testament the covenant between god and human beings obedience was the base for knowing god's blessings and favor Samuel emphasized it that in Samuel, praise the Lord, uh, in, in the book of Samuel, uh, it emphasizes that God's 
pleasure was not in sacrifice, but in obedience. First Samuel 15 and 22. In other words, it is better to obey than the sacrifice. It is better, praise the Lord, for me to obey God and not man than the sacrifice uh, before God. So God is really looking for our obedience unto him more than a sacrifice. It is, it is amazing to me, and, and I don't want to get off my subject, but it is amazing to me that it's more easier for us to say, I forgive you or will you forgive me than to bring you a gift. It's less expensive, but some people rather bring a gift to you rather than just say, will you forgive me? Praise the Lord. And so some people rather sacrifice long days and sacrifice uh, uh, certain pleasures, uh, praise the Lord, rather than obeying God. And I'd rather tell you today, saints of God, we need to obey God, especially in this day, in this hour that we're living in, because we're not going to come out of this unless God brings us out of this. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, it, it doesn't mean that anything that happens on the earth doesn't mean that we're not going to be affected by it. We will be affected by it, but God will protect us through it. It's not that you won't catch anything. It won't, it's not that uh, 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 harm won't come, but watch this. God promised that he would deliver us out of all of it. Praise the Lord. He will bring you out. He will not allow you to suffer always. Come on now. He is the lifter of our heads. So to obey is to hear intelligently. It is to submit to authority. It is to heed or to conform to or to comply with the command of to be governed by or to follow orders. We are to be able to follow the orders of God. Praise the Lord. The statues of God. The statues, a statue is this. When it talks about the statue of God, it is a decree or law issued by a ruler of governing body especially by God as being the supreme ruler. So in other words, when I said that, what is the statute? It is, a de it is the decree or the law that has been issued. It is the statue of God. It is the law of God. This is what we supposed to uh, go by is the word of God. The word of God is our way out. Precepts means this. It means a command or injunction as to moral conduct. That's why in Joshua 1 and 7, obedient to the letter. In other words, he says, only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law. Now, Ezekiel tells us to eat the word, eat the whole row. That means the law of God, the word of God, the blueprint of God. It is supposed to be in our hearts. Come on now. Which Moses, by my servant, commanded thee, turn not from it to the right hand or to the left. Thou mayest prosper wherever wheresoever thou goest. In other words, the word of God is the thing that brings our prosperity. The Bible declared that as our soul prosper and be in health. Hello here. So watch this. As the soul of man prosper, the natural man prosper because the soul is now fat with God. Hello. And, and all I getting, we're supposed to get an understanding of really what God is saying in his word. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. We find now in Psalms 119, uh, 1 through 5, the desiring the full obedience of God. The full obedience of God. It says here, blessed are the undefiled in the way, who walketh in the law of the Lord. Who walketh in the law of the Lord. Now, I'm going to find my prosperity, I'm going to find my healing, I'm going to find my deliverance as I walk in the law of God. The second verse says, blessed are they that keep his testimonies and thou seeketh him with the whole heart. In other words, I'm giving God my all. 
I'm giving God everything that I have. I'm, I'm giving my mind, my strength, my soul, my spirit, everything about me. Now notice this. David says, David says that the things that we desire, if we desire the things of the Lord, he says now that what God will do now, God will direct our path. He would direct our path. He would put us in the right place. He put us in the right uh, right place at the right time. He knows how to bring us out of something, knows how to put us in the right thing at the right time and bring deliverance to us. Praise God. Now, but believe it or not, watch this. Even in the midst of this pandemic, even in the midst of something that we've never been in before, certainly God has prospered us. Hello here. He has. The word of God is true. If we obey him, he has caused us to prosper. Come on. He has he is incre increased the minimum wage. He's increased uh, your salary. He's giving you money. Come on now. He is blessed. He has taken from the wicked and give to the righteous that he has done. The word of God is true. We have seen it with our eyes. Sometimes, people of God, we miss because we miss the manifestation of God's word. God has manifested his word right before us, and he will continue to do it if we obey him. Can somebody say amen? In the third verse, he says, they also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. They walk in his way. They has commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. I said precept means God's commandments. They have kept it diligently. Oh, that thou may wait. That, oh, that thou may. That my ways, I'm sorry. Oh, that my ways was directed to keep thou statues. In other words, God's when he direct your way, he only direct your way in his law. For in his law does we meditate day and night. And if we, watch this, if we meditate day and night in his law, what did he say? Then we shall be like a tree, planted by the rivers of water. Not sold, but absolutely planted. Planted where? Planted in a prosperous position. Planted where you're going to be nourished. Planted where you're going to flourish. Planted where you'll never go dry. Look at God now. Look at God. He's always going to cause you to prosper because his word only leads in one direction and that is in a prosperous direction. And when you follow his word, you just don't prosper naturally. You prosper spiritually. You prosper in your mind, you prosper in your body, you prosper in your soul, you prosper in your spirit. Praise the Lord. And God brings you favor when you walk in the obedience of God. Oh, saints of God, you ought to clap your hands and give God some praise in the house of God. Hallelujah. Just because he said, if you be willing, if you be willing to obey, you can eat the fat of the land. And believe me, God can reign on one city and not another. And if God can reign on one city and not another, he can reign on a group of people and not another. I don't know about you. I don't want to miss God in this season. I don't want to miss what God has for me in this season. And I know you don't either. Praise God. You don't want to miss what God has for you for this season. Yes, it's full of challenges. Yes, it's going to be chaos. Yes, murder is going to go up. Yes, people are going to get crazy. But you don't have to be in it. Because you are following the principles and the statutes of God and we're obeying what he says praise the Lord we're obeying what he says sometimes God does some things in our services that that you know why you got this person saying yes why you got this person giving high five why you got them to say that because God is trying to get you to participate in his service come on now God is trying to get you 
to be able to follow instructions. I notice some people, I don't care how many times you say something, look straight ahead at you. They look straight ahead. They don't want to say that. They don't look at their neighbor. They don't look at nobody. They don't throw their heads up. They don't do anything. Because watch this. If you can't follow the voice of God through someone, then I doubt if you can follow him if he speaks inward to you. Hello now. He tells us that we will hear his, we will know his voice. And a stranger we won't follow. What brings me to that is in the obedience of God. The more I obey him, the more he, he reveals himself to me more and more and more. And that's the way I know the more about God. Hello here. Oh, let me move on. Let me move on here. And so now, so now, as we look at it, he tells us that we may prosper wherever thou goest. And then we look at Psalms 119, praise God, and uh, 6 through 16. He says this, then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thou commands. I will praise thee with the uprightness of heart when I shall have learned the, the righteous judgments. Judgments, judgments of God. I want to know the judgments of God. What is the do's and the don'ts of God? What does God frown on and what does he not frown on? Judgment comes when God is frowning on something that displeases him. That's when judgment comes. Judgment comes when God frowns on something that we're, not, that we're doing that he's displeased with. So God brings judgment to put us back on track. Hello here. Judgment is not designed to kill us. But judgment is designed to get us back on track. So he says, I will praise thee with the uprightness of heart. When I shall have learned thy righteous judgment. The righteous judgment. I will keep thy statutes. Oh, forsake me not utterly. Withdraw shall where, with, with, wherever shall a young man cleanse his ways. Thou takest heed thereto according to thy word. So, so when a young man is going to cleanse his ways, he take heed to the word of God. Because the word of God is a washing agent. It cleanses us. We'll wash through his word. We're cleansed through his word. Sanctify me. For we are sanctified through his word. We're cleansed through his word. We find who we are in his word. We find our shortcomings. We find our faults through his word. His word reveals unto us. His word is a mirror unto us. It reflects who we really are. Praise God. When I, when I study the word of God, when I'm reading the word of God, when I'm in the word of God, I'm trying to find me in the word. Of, I ain't trying to find my friend or my neighbor. Or, I'm trying to find me in the word of God. Where am I at in the word of God? What am I, what is word saying that I'm not doing? That I'm not applying to my life? Praise the Lord. I'm not trying to find a scripture to contradict you. I'm not trying to find a scripture uh, to make you look, but I'm trying to find a word that shows up me. Because the Bible declares, let every man examine himself to see whether or not he's in the faith. And when I'm not in the faith, that means I'm not walking in the obedience of God. I'm outside. The limits, I'm outside the walls of God. Praise the Lord. So I got to find safety in the obedience of God. Oh, preach man of God. Listen. And so in the, in the 10th verse, it says, with my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. The man of God is praying. The man of God is saying, Lord, whatever you do, don't let me wander away from your word. Keep me in your word. Let me stay in your word. And that next verse says, thy word have I hidden in my heart. I hidden the word in my heart. I hidden it there. Oh, come on now. That I might not sin 
against God that I might not find myself in disobedience of God, but I find myself in the obedience of the Lord. Oh, give God some praise. Then he goes on. He goes on and he tells us in that twerfer, he says, blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thou statutes. Teach me your commandments. Teach me your ways. I want to know your ways. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies as much as in all riches. I meditate in thy precepts and I respect unto thy ways. Oh God, and I will delight myself in thy statues and will not forget thy word. I won't forget who you are. I won't forget who brought me. I won't forget who healed me. I won't forget who brought me out of the mark and the mire. I won't forget God. I'm going to obey you because it was you that brought me out. It was you that delivered my soul. It was you that picked me up. Saints of God. As never before, people of God, it's going to be you that obey God that's going to find yourself prospering, that's going to find yourself with favor, that's going to find yourself being healed, going to find yourself being delivered from all, from all of the hurt, the pain, the dislikes, you're going to find yourself where God is going to deliver you out of them. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. This is the year that God manifests his word like never before. Like never before. Watch God, if you will. Watch God. Psalms 119, 57 through the 64th verse is talking about the following, the guidance of the scriptures or, or the following of the guidance of the word. I'm obeying him. Watch this. Thou art my portion, O Lord. I have said that the, I have said that I, that I would keep thy word. That's what he said. I told you, God, that I would keep your word. I entreat thy favor with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me according to thy word. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. I make haste and, de and delay not to keep thy commandment. In other words, I got in a hurry. Remember the scripture that says God will hasten his word to perform it. So here the, here, here the psalmist is saying, you know God, I'm not going to delay. I'm going to hasten to do what you say. I'm going to get in a hurry to do what you say because watch this. If you don't get in a hurry to do what he says, then what happens to us, what happens to us, we delay and the more we delay, the less we'll do. The less we'll do. Praise the Lord. Are you listening to me tonight? So I got to get in a hurry. Why? Because the enemy comes to steal that word out of your heart. So I got to hurry up and do what he says and get it done. Because watch this, the quicker I do it, the less I give time or space to the enemy to steal it. And we got to understand something that procrastination is the thief of time and it's a thief of faith. So every time we delay to not obey him, probably you will not obey him. Because if you don't do it now, we always say, you yeah, look, if, if there's somebody you need to ask for forgiveness, and you, we have known this in our own lives, that if you don't go right then, tomorrow, you may not do it at all. Because the unction of the spirit is there to push you to do it right then. Everything has been conditioned. It's been conditioned for the, purple, for the people to receive it. You've been conditioned to do it. Tomorrow, that, that same thing is not there. Are you with me today? And it becomes to be each time we're not in a hurry, uh, uh, we find ourselves it's harder and harder for us to do it. 
Praise the Lord. It says, the bands of the wicked have robbed me. See what I'm saying? But I have not forgotten thy law. At midnight, I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgment. I am a champion of all them that fear thee and of them that keepeth thy precepts. The earth of the Lord, O Lord, is full of thy mercy. Teach me thy statues. Teach me thy statues. I want to know. He's big. I want to know, God. I want to know. I want to know tonight. Do you want to know? Do you want to know? And do you give thanks for the judgments of God? How many, I don't know if you ever had the judgment of God to be upon you where God pushes you and he squeezes you back into what he wants you to be. Praise the Lord. Uh, but the judgment of God can seem hard, but it pushes you back to where God wants you to be. Israel dealt a lot with the judgment of God. They went into captivity because of the judgment of God. And they stayed in that captivity for 70 years until God brought deliverance. And then in that captivity, the Lord says, according to the writings of Jeremiah, he says, the thoughts that I have toward you are not evil, but they're good. I'm in judgment. And you tell me that the thoughts that you have toward me are not evil. Why? Because it is that judgment that's going to bring my deliverance. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. In Psalms 119 and 33, he pleads or the pledge of obedience. He pledged to obey. Teach me, O Lord, the ways of thy statue and I shall keep it until the end. Until the end. He said, if you teach me thy way, I'm going to keep your law. I'm going to keep your word until the end. I'm not going to let it go. And we understand the story of the psalmist David. We, we, we know where he went off at. We know how he got in trouble and we know uh, for two years, praise the Lord, he had to deal with the conviction and the, uh, and the shame of what he had done. Uh, but watch God, God's love, God's judgment. God's judgment taught him. God's judgment brought him Watch what he says now. Psalms 119 and 36. Obedience preferred to making, it, it, it refers or preferred to making money. Obedience will bring prosperity. Incline thy heart unto thy testimony and not to covetousness. Psalms 119 and 67 say, stray, talking about straying from obedience. Before I was afflicted, I went astray. Before I was afflicted, I went astray. But now I have kept thy word. David said, look here, let me tell you something. He says, uh, before I was afflicted, I, 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 was, I went astray. He said, but you know what, I, what I've learned now? He says, I thank God. I thank God that I was afflicted. Because in my affliction, I learned the statues of God. When I was afflicted, what did afflict you? It made you seek God. It made you call on God. It made you reach for God. It made you honor God. It made you get into God. How can I find my deliverance? He said, I was glad to be afflicted. Because in my affliction, I learned. The statues, what do you do? I learned in my affliction, I learned the law of God. I learned what God wanted and I learned what God did not want. Praise the Lord. So we've got to be careful with this word freedom that everybody's floating around. Won't nobody tell me what to do. I want freedom. Ain't nobody going to tell me what to do. Listen, as long as you live, somebody is going to tell you what to do. You don't walk on your job and just do what you want to do. You do what you're told to do. Praise the Lord. So the devil is taking the word freedom and he's killing us. Ain't nobody going to tell me to take this. Ain't nobody going to tell me to take that. We don't know what's in nothing. 
but we're following the laws of God. Praise the Lord. And we're trusting God. Because if I take anything deadly, if I eat anything deadly, if I drink anything deadly, unknowingly, he says, it will not harm me. It didn't say you ain't going to feel the effects. He said it ain't going to harm you. In other words, I'm going to bring you out. And then if the enemy forms anything against you, form anything, that's falling, that's the obedience, that's following the word of God, that's being in the word of God. I don't know where we get this craziness from, but listen. And he says there would be no weapon formed against us. It, that will prosper. It cannot prosper what it was formed to do because I'm walking up in the statutes of God. I'm walking in his obedience of God. Are you listening to me today? Praise the Lord. What the enemy meant to be evil, God turned it for his good. Day, Peter went into the jail to be slaughtered, to be killed around quadrants of soldiers. And the angel of the Lord walked in the jail smite the chain brought him out before he even knew he thought he was still in a dream he didn't know he was he was even free till he got to the gate don't tell me God won't bring you out from the shackles and the chains of the enemy cause he will if I be willing to obey oh I gotta go press the Lord pray, praise the Lord and so now in Psalms 119 11 through 12 111 and through 112 Thy testimony have I taken as an inheritance forever. For thou art the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform thy statutes always, even unto the end, even unto the end. Psalms 143 and 10 says, teach me to do thy will. For thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of of uprightness and I come to tell you today God will lead us into the land of uprightness God will lead us praise the Lord and let me say this right now if we follow if we go on to follow the Lord if we go on to follow the Lord God is going to bring us out of everything he promised he would he promised that he would deliver the righteous and he promised that the righteous would not die with the wicked. Are you listening to me today? Will not die with the wicked. But it's all in obedience. Not talking about just going to church. Not having your name on the roll. That's not what he's talking about. He's talking about following his word. Doing his word. Precept upon precept. Following the commandments of God, people of God, hearing God, obeying God. Let me tell you what the devil is trying to do, and I'm going to go. The devil doesn't want us. The attack of the enemy now is to keep you from God. It's to keep you from God. It's to keep you out of the house of God. For in the house of God, there is safety. The design of the enemy now is to keep us out of the house of God. Because you can't fellowship on your couch. You can't really hear on your couch. You can't really reach on your couch. Come on now. You can click and click. But when you're in the house of God, you can't click. You may close your eyes and act like you sleep, but your ears are picking up. Are you listening to me? He'll cause you to hear what he wants you to hear. But the devil is trying to shut us down. And if we better get somewhere as people of God, obeying God and get somewhere and seek the face of God and stop clowning. Stop clowning. Stop clowning. There's a lot of things going on with social media that is not true. You better get into this word and find out what is true. Because this word does not lie. Everything that it said is now coming to pass. We're in perilous times. Pestilence is on the land. Just ask coronavirus. It's on the land. And it's not going nowhere.
nowhere. It's not going nowhere. And we must be covered in the blood. We must walk in the spirit of obedience, believing and trusting God. I pray tonight that this word has done something for you. I pray tonight that you have given ear. I pray tonight that you'll go back over and you'll look at it. Study the spirit of obedience as unto God. And watch what God does in the year 2022. Watch God for you. Watch God for the righteous. Are you saying there ain't going to be no more trouble? Oh, no, it's going to be trouble. Trouble is coming. But God said, in the time of trouble, I will be a present help. God bless you tonight. Be encouraged. Be ever so lifted. Praise the Lord. I'm praying for you. I hope you're praying for me. Praise the Lord. And keep us up before the Lord. Until Sunday, may God bless you and may God keep you is my prayer. Thank you for joining us today. We pray the service was a blessing to you. If you would like to learn more about All Nations House of Prayer, or if you would like to give to our ministry, please visit our website at anhop.org. We also invite you to join us during our Monday night prayer call, our Wednesday night Bible study, and every Sunday for our morning worship service. Until next time, may God bless you and may God keep you is our prayer.